There's a devil in the bottle Staring straight at me Daring me to reach out But I know he's testing me If I take just one sip I become that devil son Hello, I'm Zippy. Welcome to Making a Mead. This is a series about making meads. It doesn't have to be expensive, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to take one of these, which is five litres of spring water. This happens to get from Tesco's, one pound ten. I'm going to turn it into a fermenter. Uh, all you do is buy the grommet and the airlock. And I've seen these without the airlock and that for two pound fifty in the brew shops. And the first thing you need to buy is a grommet. Now there's usually two types. It's a small black one that you usually get on a buck fermenting bucket and the OD of the little one that slips in I think it's about 12 and a half mil, 12 mil uh, so you can drill a 12 mil hole or I prefer these when I make up uh, Demi Johns out of these um, and that's 15 mil and I've got a 15 mil hole cutter if you just put a bit of Vaseline around the ridges just help it seal Vaseline's petroleum jelly is great. Uh, it doesn't have to be Vaseline, BP jelly. So you get it from a chemist. So that's how you make a fermenting jar, vessel like that. Um, and then, like I said, I've got several, but I keep the lid solid on one because when I sterilise and use them, once I've finished with them, a quarter of a candom tablet, fill it, I don't know, quarter of the way up quarter of a can of tablet, crush it up, dissolve it in that, put the solid lid on and that will keep it sweet and all you have to do is rinse it out, sanitise it um, for next time you use it. Okay, uh, just a quick show, that's, it doesn't matter how much, I mean don't whack a load in but um, put a bit in there, get a bit in that ridge, um, I'm trying to hold it in the so you can see the light, there's quite a bit in there. Um, so oh, that helps form a seal, just in case it's, the rubber has deformed while it's been in store, as some of the grommets will be, um, they can deform. It just helps with a seal, and petroleum jelly doesn't add it's sterile, so I just use petroleum jelly, but Vaseline type stuff. Um, and then what I'll do is we'll fit it to the grommet. Okay, grommet fitted, and wipe the excess Vaseline away. And then screw it in. And that's your fermenter. That is one fermenter. Okay, now the second thing you need to buy for your fermenter is an airlock. And there's several different types. Um, the old fashioned boots one. Um, it's basically the same as that. Um, you get the plastic ones which are oval shaped chambers. You have the ones that like this with the top. Um, gas comes up, has filled it up here with water. So the gas comes up. And bubbles up and then the gas escapes. You have this one, this is a quite a common one now in the shops. You can pick up two of these for about a pound. You have a red cap on the top and that stops the water evaporating quickly. Um, and then you've got these ones which I use for the big stuff. Um, and they've got a little cap inside and the water up and the cap just bubbles up and up and escapes through the holes in the top. Um, so any airlock I do as long as you it's the correct diameter inside that's too big I'm going to use this one it's a 10 mil when you fit it in your grommet will be squeezed slightly that's why I prefer this one uh, and it creates a tighter seal um, and that's it so that's your airlock and like I say you fill it up with a bit of water so the gas goes up comes down bubbles out and you'll see the activity so that's my and now we're ready to make some mead so Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and the next uh, episode I will actually be making the mead will be put in. Thank you very much for watching.